here from anabolicmen.com where we bring you 100% research-backed men's health advice. We're back here again today with my friend Austin Floyd and he's a uh, independent researcher on sleep and natural sleep enhancement. He's going to help you with some tips. Uh, today specifically some lifestyle tips that you can do. We had another video where we talked about uh, you know which over-the-counter medication to avoid, which uh, natural supplements to use. But today we're going to talk about some lifestyle hacks that you can use just get rid of insomnia and basically have a healthy, hormonally balanced uh, sleep schedule and circadian cycle yep. on a daily basis. So what, what are your top tips that you can give the viewers? Yeah, so um, a lot of times people don't realize like the implications that like your actual life has in your sleep. Um, yeah. Sleep is as important as daytime and the way that they influence each other is crazy. One of the most like uncommon but super influential uh, items and thing that you come across throughout your day is light. So by using certain types of light and by getting rid of certain types of light, you can like dramatically improve your sleep. Where that comes into play is at night, a lot of times you see people who fall asleep to the TV or they're on their computer doing work all day. And like we talked about in the other video, that's sympathetic dominance which is a whole nother issue but being up looking at blue light constantly staring at your phone before you go to sleep exactly which is, everyone does doing yeah doing anything like that is already helping to make it so sleep is going to be impossible to get the quality that you want mm -hmm. and when you look at the research it actually shows that by looking at blue light all the way up to night or going past when you should be sleeping because humans should rise and fall with sunlight. There is a almost 50% reduction in melatonin production as well as the duration of the melatonin suspended in your bloodstream is dramatically decreased. So not only are you getting worse sleep, you sleep shorter because of that. So that's why, you know, with the, with the, the light implications you see for example, we, we were out at, at uh, this place in Cocoa Beach recently called Coconuts. We were out at the beach all day, and you get a lot of sunlight. It, it, basically, everyone's been in this situation. If you've ever been on any kind of vacation, you go you know, visit some tropical place, or you just lay outside by the pool for you know, an afternoon or something, you get what would seem to be unreasonably tired because you're... You're exposed to the sun. You're like, why am I so damn tired? I was literally just laying on my back all day, exactly. or out in the out in the water at the beach. You're really not doing anything all day, uh, physically. But you get such a high spike in the vitamin D that the melatonin. When you go back inside, the melatonin is going to raise up. Yep. Um, you're going to be super, super tired, probably for days after yeah. a big event like that. Yeah, and that comes into play with um, red light and the spectrum of light that is in the sun, because. Uh, the reason in the morning when you wake up, humans traditionally woke up early because all of the light spectrum comes up and it spikes cortisol pretty easily. That's why at night, blue light from your phone, from your computer TV is going to be very stressful and it's going to keep you awake and kind of hinder that melatonin. Whereas on the other side of the spectrum, still emitted by the sun, is red light. Specifically, a ton of benefits. Exactly, and specifically the UVB rays, which help to increased skin production of vitamin D and everything along those lines. When you're out in the sun all day, you're getting the full spectrum, so it completes the blue light, and it helps to mitigate, if not, depending on cloud cover and uh, if you're in a city or whatnot, if you're getting the correct amount of UVB, it's gonna mitigate the stressful reaction from the vitamin, or from the blue light and actually bring down your stress response lower, and that's why you get tired when you're laying out all day. It's a good tired, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. a very deep sleep. Yeah, and we've actually, uh, Ali and I have been recently, for the last month or so, using this uh, red light therapies, these little red light lasers on uh, the thyroid gland and on our balls. Yeah. <laughs> because there's actually good research showing that when you expose certain glands in your body to red light, yep. they will naturally heal themselves. There's, there's actually uh, research showing with the thyroid that red light therapy can heal thyroid conditions. That's awesome. Yeah. There's studies showing UV exposure 
of your balls, like some guy, your testicles, some guy like laying out. I think they had a bunch of people in that mm -hmm. one study. They had a bunch of people yeah. laying out or, or being exposed to the, the direct sunlight on their testicles, and they had a massive increase in, in testosterone production and in, in sperm parameters, yeah. fertility parameter, parameters. And then they also basically replicated that study with a uh, little uh, red light laser at, at a 650 nanom nanometer uh, wavelength. And saw a in human men saw a seven hundred percent increase in testosterone <laughs> production. That's why that's why Ali and I bought this yeah. these things. <laughs> we were like, hell, we're, we're gonna just lay in bed and <laughs> yeah, seriously, <laughs> do it before bed. But it's it's pretty crazy. It's pretty cool. Yeah, along with the, I mean that red light laser um, as well, just shining on your eyes and everything. It kind of yeah. mimics like a, a sunset. Yeah. So when the sun's going down, everything's red. Yeah. Um, that's one of the triggers to have less stress, so you can fall asleep as well. Don't you uh, have a red light? Yeah, yeah. So I actually have a uh, hue lighting in my room, and it's a controllable lighting with your phone. So I turn it red every night because nice. when I'm reading before bed, it just automatically like calms you down. Yeah. So like, it's, a, it's a quick hack. Super. Would you, can, would you buy that on Amazon? Yeah, of course, yeah. everything. Yeah. So. And then next up, so we have a routine at night, and a lot of people don't establish a routine. Uh, they don't realize that like how the body works is through routines and one of the easiest ways to just help dramatically improve your sleep real quickly is to establish it could be a 15 minute to a two hour routine. Mine's a lot longer just because I have built it up over time so I have so many things that I kind of check off the list. Yeah. But even a 15 minute routine of you're like okay put my phone away, go brush my teeth, like calm myself down and get ready for bed when you start that routine every night, after you implement it, your body realizes, okay, this is a cycle I'm going through. Similar to how when you go to tie your shoe or put on socks, you put on the same foot or tie the same shoe every day. Yeah, it's, yeah. our brains work on conditioning. Exactly. So you can so then, basically teach it to subconsciously want to fall asleep. Yeah, so that's one, of, I mean, that's one of the easiest ways that anyone can, without having to buy or do anything, just make it so their body automatically is down regulated and ready to fall asleep right off the bat. And then the third thing is exercise. Doing Thor, I know for a fact that a lot of the neuromuscular fatigue transcribes itself into needing more sleep, needing the yeah. rest, which is a good thing when it comes at the dosage, similar to Thor, where it's two, three, four days a week, and then you get that rest period, so you're not overtraining. You're not doing anything along those. Yeah, because it, it's half. It's half the equation of recovering from training, like good, hard training. You need to recover. Exactly. And you hit the gym again the next time. You're lifting more than you were the first time. You know that's one of the most common things that people have said when they start on the Thor program, even the Test Shock program. For the last few years, everyone notes that if if it is a big change from the type of training that they've been doing. Mm -hmm. They're uh, a lot more tired than usual for the first few weeks oh, yeah. until they adapt to it. Yeah. And that's really because your body is forcing you to rest and recover because it's needing, it needs to make the proper changes, yep. hormonal changes. And then with that, so like when you're going for like optimal sleep, uh, exercise at two different times, either like in the morning after waking up mm -hmm. or at night around five post work yep. when you have the best cardiovascular potential. The reason is I typically err on the side of later, and it's because with exercise, exercise increases cortisol, testosterone, everything, but you have a lot of catecholamines and um, adrenaline release during that time, which is a stressful thing. So if it's elevated at night, you can't fall asleep, and that's what a lot of people have. That's why they have the issue of insomnia. Yeah. But when you go and work out, you do elevate those, but it's kind of like, I don't know an analogy for it actually, but you increase your cortisol so much during the exercise, then as soon as you're done, the stress response immediately declines, but it declines lower than where it was mm -hmm. so that you can so fall asleep. More relaxed, yeah. yeah, so it makes it a little bit easier to fall asleep by doing that. A lot of people like it in the morning, you can do it either time, but it's more of just getting your body to naturally be able to do the stress response cortisol cycle. Cool. Thanks for the tips. Yeah. Hopefully you guys uh, got some goodies out of this, some action items. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the Anabolic Men YouTube channel. Uh, and you can go over and check out all the free information over on anabolicmen.com. We will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.